okay uh, good morning to all of you so today uh, we are going to start uh, a new topic so that is called phase detection so phase detection uh, is an important topic uh, in biometrics especially when we discuss uh, face recognition so phase detection uh, is an integrate uh, integrated part of uh, face recognition therefore uh, face detection is an important application in uh, face recognition okay so uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about the face detection uh, algorithm now uh, these are the sources uh, from uh, based on which uh, i i have made this uh, presentation so uh, you can uh, you can have all these papers and sources uh, for your study now uh, in this slide uh, we will introduce uh, what is face detection so uh, face detection is the first step in most face related applications including face recognition facial expression analysis gender ethnicity age classification and face modeling okay so uh, these are the uh, these are the few applications where face detection is an integrated part of these applications okay so before we execute this uh, before we before we develop uh, these applications uh, we need to uh, we need to take care of the face detection so that the right faces are recognized and uh, and the face uh, with which uh, we are having the expression to be analyzed so that to be detected correctly okay and other applications also uh, we can have this uh, face detection now variations uh, in pose and expression diversity in gender skin tone occlusions are the typical challenges co-founding face detection so uh, face detection is not a uh, free from uh, errors uh, we need to deal with uh, we need to deal with uh, uh, many variations uh, which may uh, which may challenge the face detection okay so uh, these challenges uh, may be uh, post changes may be facial expression changes may be taken in unconstrained environment okay and maybe occlusions so these are the challenges uh, uh, which may which may uh, which may create problem for uh, face detection so uh, while there are a number of approaches uh, for detecting faces in a given image state of the art face detection methods are typically based on extracting local texture features from the given image and applying a binary that is a two class classifier to distinguish between face and non face so basically face detection is a problem where we uh, where we classify a face from non face okay let us consider an image uh, an image is given to you okay now in that image uh, along with face images some other objects uh, are uh, some other objects are uh, found and along with uh, those objects and faces uh, we have background we have illumination condition we have post changes we have facial expression changes and moreover we have unconstrained environment so in that in unconstrained environment we have to uh, detect a face okay then we have to track down the face uh, which will be used for different application like face recognition facial expression analysis gender ethnicity age classifications and uh, and face modeling also so uh, before uh, before we go for application we need to detect a face correctly okay first we detect the face then we track down the track down the actual uh, area or actual region of interest uh, to be used for the application okay so basically the first uh, step of face detection is to classify the face from non face that means uh, from other objects okay now uh, in this uh, in this uh, in this connection uh, or uh, in this uh, face uh, detection uh, algorithms so we can have uh, we can have a number of uh, number of algorithms uh, 
one of such algorithm is viola jones uh, phase detection algorithm and this algorithm uh, was used for automatic uh, auto automated phase detection okay and uh, this was the this was the first algorithm which was introduced in 2001 so after uh, so many uh, phase detection algorithms which uh, which were introduced before 2001 so those were lacking uh lacking of uh, phase detection uh, phase detection segment or phase detection subsystem so in those systems phase detection uh, was not introduced or was not used so in 2001 viola jones first uh, introduced a phase detection algorithm for uh, frontal view faces and uh, that phase detection algorithm uh, was an automatic phase detection algorithm okay and uh, which was based on uh, hard features and uh, adaboost algorithm so uh, this seminal work uh, first done by viola jones in the field of real time object detection and uh, it was the first of its kind of automated phase detection algorithm okay so the phase detection uh, technique proposed by viola jones has been widely used in various studies involving phase pro processing because of its real time capability high accuracy and availability as open source software under the computer open computer vision library so you can find uh, this uh, the uh, the related library on viola jones phase detection algorithm in open cv okay so you can use this open source sop uh, software uh, to build up your own phase detection algorithm based on viola jones algorithm okay so basically uh, when uh, this phase detection algorithm was introduced by viola jones so they have studied the frontal view faces only so only on frontal view faces uh, their algorithm uh, worked so uh, after introducing this phase detection algorithm many researchers uh, were uh, developed the improved version of uh, this algorithm and uh, where Uh, they uh, they have used this algorithm improved version of this algorithm in unconstrained environment also unconstrained environment and degraded environment also however the frontal view faces uh, will work fine but uh, in case of the in case of the left view or right view faces or the partially view faces so this algorithm uh, uh, this algorithm does not give a uh, better accuracy so uh, we need to have some uh, we need to have some improved version of this algorithm or uh, we need to have some uh, we need to have some better algorithm or efficient algorithm so that can uh, deal with a unconstrained environment so since this was the uh, this was the first phase detection algorithm uh, therefore uh, the phase detection algorithm was not perfect and can produce both false positive and false negative errors so here you can see the images where uh, we can have the false positive and false negative errors so what is false positive and false negative errors so a false positive error refers to the detection of a face where nothing exists okay so a false positive error refers to the detection of a face where nothing exists while false negative error indicates that a face present in the image was not detected so in both the cases in both the errors are shown in these images so you can have a look at these images so that you can understand uh, how uh, this uh, viola jones algorithm uh, phase detection algorithm was worked okay so in some cases face was detected correctly in uh, in other cases face was uh, face was not detected uh, correctly okay so in both the cases are available in these images so uh, so based on this uh, detection we can have false positive error and false negative errors now uh, this algorithm consists of the following steps so first step is uh, first step is hard features second step is integral image third uh, step is adaboost uh, algorithm and uh, fourth step is cascading uh, approach okay so uh, these four steps are the main steps in viola jones uh, phase detection algorithm based on which we can detect a face correctly uh, over a number of phase number of face and non face uh, examples are given okay 
So initially, uh, we will have uh, we will train this uh, Viologen's phase detection algorithm with phase and non-phase examples. Okay, and then build up a model for classification of phases from non-phase. That means when we uh, when we developed uh, the, the phase detection algorithm or phase detection model, we need to train the uh, we need to train the uh, phase detection uh, model with phase and non-phase examples. Okay, so that the algorithm can understand what is uh, how the phase look like and how the non-phase look like. So we need we need large number of exam we need large number of phase and non-phase examples so that the algorithm can understand uh, these examples in better way and whenever the classification uh, classification for some phase uh, will be uh, coming then uh, that uh, that phase uh, will be classified as the phase image not the non-phase object or non-phase example Now I just uh, want to ask you how many of you are familiar with age detection algorithm? How many of you are familiar with age detection algorithm? So that uh, we can uh, we can uh, make a similarity uh, with age detection algorithm with uh, the first step of Viola uh, uh, Jones algorithm. So why I'm asking this because uh, when when we will uh, study the pre-processing techniques uh, in image processing, and then uh, we will uh, go through these edge detection algorithms, okay, or edge detection techniques. So in edge detection, what happens in uh, in image processing? Uh, we have uh, we have uh, Two different uh, we have two different techniques uh, are available. Uh, one is called the integrator, another is called the uh, derivative operators. Okay. Now for edge detection, we use the derivative operators. So derivative uh, operators are nothing but the kernels, the convolutional kernels. So so we consider uh, we consider three by three, five by five, seven by seven. Okay, nine by nine, eleven by eleven. So this type of convolutional kernels uh, to detect uh, some special objects in the image. So uh, the objects may be a line, objects may be uh, isolated points, object may be edges. Okay. So these are the these are the objects uh, we need to find, we need to uh, we need to find in the images. So for that, uh, we need uh, some derivative operators. So derivative operators are nothing but the convolutional kernels, or we can say the convolutional uh, convolutional mask, convolutional windows. So in place of kernel uh, interchangeably, we can uh, use these terms uh, for convolutional kernels. Okay. Now convolutional kernels consist of some uh, elements. So based on these elements, uh, we can detect the uh, we detect the special kind of objects in the image okay so arrangement uh, arrangement uh, arrangement of the elements are made in the convolutional kernel such a way that uh, we can have uh, we can have uh, the uh, we can have the objects to be detected in the image okay so for that we need to convolve the convolutional kernel with the given input image then uh, in the output uh, we get the detected images that means the detected objects in the output images so uh, why i am discussing uh, all these uh, uh, derivative operators because uh, uh, whenever we will apply for uh, straight line uh, so for a straight line we can uh, we can use this uh, we can use this uh, convolutional kernel like uh, this uh, for one uh, for convolutional kernels. So if you look at the first convolutional kernel A, where uh, the where the uh, middle rows all are middle rows having all twos, okay, and uh, the first row and the third row having minus one values. So uh, Whenever uh, we will convolve this, uh, uh, convolve this uh, uh, kernel 
with the input image then the straight line will be detected straight line means horizontally the straight line will be detected okay and if we use the second kernel then uh, the straight line vertically uh, vertically placed straight line will be detected if we use the third kernel c then diagonally that means the uh, left uh, that means the diagonal uh, diagonal straight line will be detected okay and uh, similarly if we use the convolutional fourth convolutional kernel and that to be convolved with the input image then another straight line uh, that means the uh, direct di direction may be uh, different from the um, uh, previous one then another diagonal uh, straight line will be detected so these four kernels may be uh, used for detecting the straight lines uh, which are placed horizontally vertically diagonally in the image okay now hard features are uh, similar type of uh, hard features are similar type, similar to convolutional uh, kernels or convolutional windows so here hal wavelet uh, is a sequence of rescale uh, square shape functions okay so this is very similar to fourier analysis so hal wavelet is a sequence of rescale square shape functions so they are very similar to convolutional kernels so convolutional kernels are used to detect different uh, different objects uh, like lines edges uh, isolated points uh, in the image and this uh, we will use these hard features uh, to uh, detect the different facial features uh, on the, on a face image okay now the hard features are found to be relevant uh, features to detect a face in the image moreover facial components are more likely to be detected with these features so here facial component means facial component means both the eyes nose mouth okay uh, then uh, then uh, the forehead or uh, we can say eyebrows so these are the facial components uh, which can be detected by different types of hard features so we can have a number of hard features uh, and we uh, we can extend these hard features for more number of pixels so according to the uh, according to the number of uh, number of facial components or according to the Uh, according to the pixels which are present in the components so we can change the we can uh, we can extend this uh, hard features according to the application or according to the requirement of the application so here uh, each hard feature gives a single value by subtracting sum of pixels under white rectangle from sum of pixels under black rectangle okay so here you can see there are five types of hard features the type one uh, type one hard feature contains two pixels one is white pixel another is black pixel type two feature contains two pixel that means uh, this is uh, uh, there is one column and two rows in the type one feature there are uh, two columns one rows okay one is black pixel another is white pixel in type three uh, hard feature here you can see that there are two white pixels one black pixels and in type 4 uh, in type 4 uh, uh, type 4 uh, hard feature so there there is uh, only one column and three rows okay and uh, in type 4 uh, hard features you can see there are two white pixels and uh, one black pixels and type 4 uh, type 5 uh, hard features here you can see so there is a uh, four uh, pixels and diagonally two pixels are black and another diagonally uh, two pixels are white okay now these are the five basic hard features uh, five basic hard features we can extend uh, these hard features that means we can increase the number of black pixels and white pixels according to the according to the number of pixels which are available in the facial components okay that means all possible combinations of these hard features are used over some face okay so here you can see that uh, in the uh, second row uh, we are extending the hard features so we can have these hard features uh, by adding more number of black pixels and more number of white pixels 
now whenever we will uh, use one of such hard feature on a face image then uh, to detect the face image that means on, uh, on the whole image one such hard feature hard feature will be applied okay now whenever the face components will be found so then that face component will be taken care of so by extending the number of uh, black pixels and white pixels uh, we can have uh, such facial components to be identified or to be detected on the <coughs> on the image okay <coughs> sorry so uh, we can have the we can have the image in the output so in that image uh, some we, a number of faces will be there or uh, along with number of faces we can have a number of uh, objects will be there okay and the background will be uh, uh, there will be a background and uh, maybe the environment uh, maybe the, maybe the uh, image environment is the unconstrained environment that means the illumination changes are uh, illumination changes will be observed or the poses post changes will be observed so we can have such uh, such challenging situations in, in such challenging situations we have to detect the faces with the uh, with the different types of hard features that means when we apply the hard features we need to consider all combinations of hard features okay all combinations of hard features now whenever we apply a single hard feature on a face uh, on some uh, image where the uh, face is provided then that hard feature will give you a single value the single value means the we will subtract the sum of pixels under white pixel uh, white rectangle from sum of pixels under black rectangle okay now look at these two uh, face images so uh, if you look at these two face images then uh, we will see the if we see the right uh, uh, if you see the uh, face image on the right hand side then we can see that uh, eyebrows are found to be black okay eyebrows are found to be black and the uh, uh, right above the eyebrow uh, some skin portions are found uh, little bit white that means uh, a gray so this is the gray level image so in in case of ideal case uh, we can have this uh, hard features different types of hard features that mean uh, this is prominent white and prominent black now if we mix if we mix the uh, if we mix the white pixel and uh, black pixels uh, with different uh, with different ratios then we can have the different sets of uh, different sets between uh, white and black okay that is called the gray so in gray level image there are 256 uh, gray level there are 256 different sets so here we can have so you can have the real situation okay in uh, real scenario uh, we need to compare this real scenario with the ideal case so ideal case uh, ideal case uh, ideal case uh, may consist of the different types of different types of hard features and from uh, and in case of uh, in case of hard features we have the we have the we have the subtraction result as one okay that means when we subtract the sum of all pixels under white rectangle from sum of all pixels from uh, black rectangle then the that uh, that uh, subtraction will give us the one value okay because uh, here we assign here we assign all uh, white pixels zero and all, all black pixels one okay so for that uh, whenever we go, we get the sum of all white pixels Uh, and that will be subtracted from uh, the sum of all black pixels then uh, this uh, subtraction will give us one so this is the ideal case but uh, if we deal with the real situation then in real situation we can have the gray level images but this gray level images uh, uh, gray level images uh, do not uh, infer uh, the real case or do not represent the real case so that means uh, whenever we will consider the hard features uh, uh, for this gray level images uh, we will compute we will compute the uh, less dark uh, less dark uh, pixels sum of less dark pixels 
and that will be subtracted uh, from the sum of a uh, more uh, sum of more uh, dark pixels and uh, we will see that uh, whether this whether this subtraction result is close to one or not whenever it is to, it is found to be close to one then the, we will say this is the uh, this is the type of our pictures that are uh, that are present uh, on the facial component of this image okay so here uh, if you look at these uh, pictures then look at these images face images then you will see that uh, uh, that the middle of the nose on the right hand side uh, uh, on the right hand side image the middle of the nose is the black and uh, the nose tip is found to be some, uh, somewhat uh, white okay at the below of the nose tip is white and that is the less dark pixels okay and uh, on the bridge of the nose that is the bridge of the nose means the uh, the the nose portion which is uh, found between uh, the two eyes okay so this is called the bridge portion so in the bridge portion is found to be the dark pixels so more dark than the other areas okay then uh, if you see the mouth portion then uh, you can see that uh, the middle of the mouth portion is found to be uh, more dark pixels than the uh, than the than the upper lip portion okay in the upper lip portion uh, somewhat uh, the less dark pixels are present okay so uh, whenever we will apply these hard features uh, hard features uh, on such face images then the, we will compute the hard features and uh, uh, according to the value of the hard features uh, whenever we will compare this value with the ideal case then whenever the uh, whenever the uh, whenever the value of hard features is found to be close to the ideal case then we will say okay this is the hard features that will uh, that, that will present uh, for this facial component now here you can see so here we can see another image uh, which is given uh, for uh, so here we can compute the hard features uh, for the uh, eyebrows for the nose okay and for mouth so in this image uh, the hard feature which is used as a, so a rectangle hard feature is used for the nose where the uh, middle of the nose that is uh, the middle of the nose is found to be less dark okay and both side of the nose are found to be more dark than the middle of the nose so therefore according uh, uh, so uh, according to uh, according to this uh, according to this component uh, of the face image we we need to use we need to use a particular hard feature so here you can see that that particular hard feature is uh, hard feature is calculated uh, for the uh, nose uh, component okay for eyebrows also so for eyebrows uh, we can have the another uh, hard feature in rectangle shape where the uh, where the where we have the uh, black pixels for the eyebrows and uh, right above the eyebrows uh, we will have the white pixels okay so similarly we can have the hard feature for the mouth portion okay now here you can see that there are two matrix one matrix represent the ideal case another matrix represent the pixel values which are computed between 0 and 1 that means these are the normalized uh, normalized pixel values which are computed uh, between the range 0 and 1 okay now uh, less dark pixels are uh, given some values and uh, more dark pixels are given that means in ideal case uh, the dark pixels the prominent black uh, will have one value and prominent white will have zero value now in between this prominent black and prominent white there will be some shades that means some pixels will be less dark some pixel will be more dark some pixels will be somewhat uh, between 0 and 1 that means uh, we'll have 0.5 so here we can see that in case of real situation uh, for some pixels we can have 0 0.1 value 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.3 okay and 0 0.8 0 0.6 0 0.9 so here you can see that the last two columns are 
represent the dark pixels and first two columns uh, represent the uh, represent the less dark pixels or uh, white pixels we can say now we will compute the difference uh, difference of the uh, that means the sum of all the all sum of all pixels under a white rectangle will be subtracted from sum of all sum of all dark pixels under black rectangle okay so that is what is done uh, in this equation here you can see that delta equals to 1 by n so n is the n is the total number of uh, black pixels or total number of white pixels so here delta equals to 1 by n summation over ib of xi what is ib 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 represent ib represent the here b means the black pixels okay and w means the white pixels so summation over ib of xi okay so i varies from 1 to n so n is the total number of black pixels and uh, n is the total number of white pixels so the, so here uh, here we have written first uh, the sum of uh, black pixels then uh, uh, then we will give the then uh, that uh, from that uh, sum of uh, black pixels so we subtract the sum of white pixels okay and that to be represented by 1 by n summation over iw of xi okay so in this real situation for ideal case hard feature gives delta equals to 1 okay but for real case if we consider the second matrix then hard feature will give us 0.56 0.56 so uh, this is uh, this is close to 1 okay so whatever the value we you know whatever the value uh, that will be coming after 0.5 will uh, will be considered at close to 1 okay so in this case the hard feature gives the point uh, 5 6 so this is closer to 1 therefore uh, there, uh, there there is a possibility of uh, found a hard feature uh, in that uh, in that phase uh, region okay you have any questions from here you can ask me i want to make you clear everything so that you can uh, you can uh, understand uh, the phase detection how phase detection algorithm works if you have any questions from this part you can ask me now otherwise i will continue excuse me sir ah uh, yes there was is Uh, sir, so, uh, the hard feature you have, uh, which you have told. So for every individual uh, part of uh, part of the face, uh, we have different different uh, hard features. Am I right? Yes, 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 yes. Like for but I, that, that, yes. but 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 that hard feature will be applied all over the faces. Yes, and it will extract the part which uh, matches. Uh, more suitably for uh, uh, the feature, uh, the parameters which we have set. Okay. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, you are correct. But uh, let me explain in more uh, elaborately. So when you apply a hard feature all over the faces, then uh, uh, that may give the that may give the higher value for the component uh, which is actually uh, which is actually. Uh, actually we have provided in the uh, face image that means for the other region of the faces so that hard feature will not give you the higher value okay for for example uh, if we use the hard feature for uh, nose portion or for eye portion or for eyebrow portion so that will give us uh, that will not give us the higher value for other face regions that will only give us the higher value for nose portion for eyebrow portion am i correct yes sir yes sir okay so that so this is the this is the way to uh, find the hard features on a face image so but how we define what we define uh, so the features how we define it like uh, uh, as you tell that the nose the middle uh, the bridge is white and the uh, 
left and right portion is black so mm-hmm. if we see uh, the uh, image on the right uh, the girl image uh, mm-hmm. it can uh, uh, similarly go for the, her hair strand like uh, the hair over her face the middle is black and left and right is uh, white yeah that is why that is why i am that is why so then how it differentiate between that hair and the nose yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i will coming to that uh, i will coming to that point so i have just told i have just said that uh, we need to use all possible all possible combinations of our features okay in terms of scale in terms of position in terms of type okay if we consider uh, if we consider m by n or m by m uh, dimension image okay then uh, on that image when we apply all possible combinations of our feature in terms of position in terms of uh, scale in terms of type then we can have that face image to be detected uh, to be detected uh, with a bounding box uh, in the image okay that means we need here uh, we cannot use a particular type of herbiger for detecting the facial component or the whole face image okay we need to consider the all possible combinations of her features so that we can find a different bounding box for the face images which are uh, which are uh, found or which are given in the image okay i will come to that point okay sir okay sir here you can see that now the algorithm uh, whenever the viola jones algorithm whenever, whenever the viola jones uh, introduced this algorithm so they used 24 by 24 uh, dimension image okay that means uh, they call this uh, image window okay now a face image they consider was a dimension of 24 by 24 pixels okay for evaluating the hard features now having such window by considering all possible parameters of hard features like position scale and type so what i said i said all possible combinations of hard features in terms of position scale type so when this uh, parameters will be considered on uh, 24 by 24 uh, 24 by 24 image or window then what they found they ended up with 160000 features now you can imagine how many hard features of different combinations in terms of position scale and type are determined on 24 by 24 uh, dimension image okay so here yeah, different types of hard features extract useful information from uh, an image such as edges straight line diagonal lines that we can use to identify human face so here in this uh, image you can see that different types of hard features are uh, constructed and these hard features are uh, then used uh, or applied on a 24 by 24 uh, face image okay so manually and uh, manually they got uh, a 24 by 24 face image then on 24 by 24 face image uh, they used uh, all combinations of hard features Uh, then they ended up with one lakh sixty thousand features. Okay. Now problem is that uh, we cannot use uh, we cannot use the huge this huge number of features uh, on uh, on any uh, face image. Okay. So therefore we need uh, so we need uh, some uh, technique by which we can reduce the number of features. Uh, Uh, to a uh, couple of thousand uh, uh, hard features okay that means from 160000 features we will reduce this number of features uh, to uh, a couple of thousand that means 2000 or 3000 or uh, 2500 so such a number of features uh, uh, we need to have to process a face image now uh, for that we use the adaboost algorithm before that uh, uh, we need to compute we need to compute uh, the area of the rectangle for different hard features so uh, easiest way to get the area 
of the uh, area of the white uh, white rectangle and black you know, black rectangle by integral image so you we can use the integral image to get the uh, area of the white uh, white rectangle and black rectangle so this is the easiest way so we cannot uh, go for we cannot go for the uh, rigorous computation for getting the area if we try to if we try to find the if we try this rigorous process to compute the area of uh, white rectangle and bla black rectangle of 160000 features then i think uh, this will not complete uh, th this processing will not complete even after 30 years or even after 50 years so that is why we need some uh, we need uh, some alternative uh, method by which we can compute the area of uh, white rectangle and black rect black rectangle uh, in easiest way okay so we can use the integral image method so what integral image method does so in an integral image each pixel represent a cumulative sum of a corresponding input pixel with all pixels above and to the left of input pixel okay now uh, what happens in if we consider the image as an integral image then in integral image we compute uh, we compute the sum of all pixels given above the uh, current pixel uh, above the current pixel and given uh, given left uh, to the current pixel okay that means all the pixels left to the current pixels will be sum, sum up and all pixels above the current pixels will be sum up and for that current pixel we get the sum of all the pixels okay in the integral image now an integral image enables you to rapidly calculate summations over image subregions and these subregion summations can be computed in constant time as a linear combination of all four pixels in the integral image regardless of the size of the subregion okay and we can use this uh, we can use these integral images we can you we can use these integral images to allow for the calculation of sum of all pixels inside any given rectangle using only four values at corners of the rectangle let us see an example now here you can see that example on the left hand side we have two images one is called the input image another is called the integral image okay now on the input image if we try to find the sum of uh, sum of the pixels uh, which are marked by uh, which are marked by the uh, blue uh, blue color then uh, we can see that the sum of all the pixels will be 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4 so there will be 14 okay so the result is 14 now to compute this uh, compute this sum whenever we consider the integral image then in the integral image what we see we first uh, we first get the uh, we first get the cumulative sum of the cumulative sum of the pixels in the input image okay and that to be called the integral image and the integral image when we get the sum then we will consider we will consider the four different uh, four different uh, corners uh, for this area that is uh, in this area where uh, where we find the four pixels that is three two four five uh, five four are given okay now if we try to find the area of this uh, sum of this uh, area then uh, we need to consider the four corner pixels in the integral image so here you can see that here we consider the four corner pixels now how to get the sum so uh, the first corner pixel uh, first corner pixel is uh, uh, given first corner pixel is given uh, 10 then 22 then 20 and then 46 okay so diagonally we get the sum of uh, sum of the couple of pixels then we subtract then we subtract uh, the sum Oh, one sum of uh, the couple of pixels from another sum of couple of pixels. So here you can see that another image, if you see after integral image, um, the area is marked by red. Okay, 
red color then we get the sum of uh, sum of the uh, sum of the area uh, for uh, which is marked as uh, marked in red color d equals to here we can write 4 minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 okay that means the diagonal pixels 1 and 4 are added up then from this summation we subtract the sum we subtract the sum of 3 plus 2 okay so that means this will give us uh, this will give us the area uh, sum of the area of this uh, four pixels so here you can see that uh, original image uh, original image in grayscale is given then we get the integral image and uh, integral image you can see the uh, cumulative sum so in the uh, in the uh, in the above of these three images you can see two other images are given uh, matrix are given so here the one matrix is used for the original image that is grayscale image okay and another matrix is found after getting the cumulative sum of the pixels in the original image and this image this matrix will be called integral image uh, matrix for the integral image so in the integral image here you can see that if we consider the first pixel the first pixel value will be first pixel value will be intact okay if we see the second second pixel or second element in the first row in the integral image, then we see that one is added with twelve. Then we uh, then we found thirteen. Okay. Then uh, for the third pixel in the first row in the integral image, we see that uh, result is fifty eight. So how to get this fifty eight? So one is added to twelve. Then thirteen is added to forty five. We get fifty eight. So this is the cumulative sum, and this cumulative sum of all the pixels according to the thumb rule. What is the thumb rule? Thumb rule is said. Uh, some thumb rule says that whenever we consider a pixel uh, i of x comma y, so here x comma y is the coordinate of that pixel. Okay, and i represents the intensity value of the corresponding pixel. Now, if we consider the if we consider any such pixel. That is called the current pixel. Then above the current pixels, all pixel all pixel values will be added. Okay, and left and all the pixels left to that uh, current pixel will be added. Then we get the cumulative sum. Okay, and this cumulative sum will be written over the integral image. That means for the matrix that we obtain in the integral image is nothing but the cumulative sum of the pixels. Okay. Now, sir, sir, uh, sir. yes, 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 yes. Sir, sir, the diag, uh, sir, the uh, y one x one competition. Can you please tell? So, uh, in the original image here, you can see the number of pixels. Okay. Uh, the pixel is five. Yeah, the image uh, image size is four by four. Yes, sir. Okay, so first pixel. If you consider the first pixel, that is. Sir, so I am asking zero. about the uh, okay, the integral uh, image uh, value of uh, y coordinate y one x one. Y one. Y one x one. So are okay, we okay, okay, including okay. the diagonal? Okay, okay, okay. Y one x one. That is twenty four. Yes, sir. So, if we consider only the above and left, then it's uh, and adding the pixel itself, then it's come twenty three. If we add the diagonal, then only it's coming twenty four. Are we adding the diagonal also, sir? Yes, yes, yes. We also adding the diagonal also. Diagonal means uh, here uh, you get uh, thirteen plus seventeen. No, here uh, you get. Uh, uh, one plus twelve thirteen. Okay. One plus twelve thirteen. Okay. Then six yes. plus five. What is uh, six 11. plus five? Eleven. 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 Eleven and plus thirteen. Twenty-four. Then we have twenty-four in the integral image. Yes, sir. Yes, so that's uh, you just said that only left and top. That's why I got confused. You, you, here, here you don't need to do anything. You just remember the thumb rule. Okay, yes, 
so according to the thumb rule you get the integral image then uh, in the integral image you can find the sum of any area okay, according sir. to the uh, according to the rule which is given as d so here d equals to 4 minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 that means the uh, diagonal for uh, diagonal for uh, diagonal, uh, diagonal, uh, diagonal, uh, diagonal sum of the diagonal pixels will be uh, determined first then we get the, another uh, sum of diagonal pixels and that to be subtracted from the first sum of the diagonal pixels okay sir okay sir got it got it okay, okay. you just remember the thumb rule that's all that will be fine for you at, at least if you remember the thumb rule then uh, uh, it will be easy for you to get the integral image yes sir yes. okay now uh, in this slide uh, we will uh, discuss about the adaboost algorithm now uh, as i said that uh, when we apply uh, all possible combinations of uh, har features on a 24 by 24 window then uh, we can have a large number of har features and uh, uh, and that may be 160000 so around 160000 hard features okay now for uh, real time uh, face detection uh, it will take uh, it will take more time or the computation time will be more so therefore uh, if we want to reduce the computation time then we need to reduce the number of hard features from 160000 to some uh, to uh, a couple of thousand or uh, or uh, or uh, 3000 or 4000 like this okay so we need to reduce the number of features uh, uh, in the hard feature in the uh, in the window 24 by 24 window okay now uh, the idea is that now idea is that every hard feature that we computed uh, from the uh, from the given window that is 24 by 24 we consider these hard features as we classify okay and uh, we classify so here adaboost algorithm is a machine learning algorithm for selecting the best subset of features among all available features and this subset of features will be called the we uh, subset of we classifiers that mean each best uh, classifier that uh, to be selected from uh, that to be selected from 160000 features so each feature will be called each best feature will be called the weak classifier okay then uh, we will uh, we will uh, compute the strong classifier so here the strong classifier will be the linear combinations of weighted weak classifiers okay linear combinations of weighted weak classifiers now how to uh, how to get the subset of best uh, best uh, uh, best classifier or best features that to be uh, that to be combined together uh, to form a strong classifier okay so here uh, the output of the algorithm is a uh, classifier called strong classifier and from high level uh, from a high level in order to find the weak class in this weak classifiers the algorithm runs for t iterations so here t is capital t is nothing but the number of weak classifier that to be combined that to be Uh, combine to get the strong classifier okay now in each iteration the algorithm finds the error rate for all features and then choose the feature with lowest error rate for that iteration so here you can see that uh, here uh, we have three different hard features okay so in the image you can see that three different uh, rectangles are given and for this three different uh, for each of these rectangle Uh, we consider this rectangle as the best classifier or the best hard feature and the corresponding weak classifier is combined in the set of uh, in the set of uh, in the set of weak classifiers and for the first uh, for the first uh, hard feature we can have f1x this is the corresponding weak classifier and this corresponding weak classifier is multiplied with alpha 1 so here alpha 1 is the weight which is determined from the which is determined from the 
number of face and non face examples okay and then the corresponding function f1 x is determined uh, from the uh, from the selected hard feature for the second hard feature also we can have the alpha 2 weight and that is to be multiplied by f2 or f2 of x is f2 of x is determined from the second hard feature okay so in this way we will get the linear combinations of weak classifier or the linear combinations of best hard features and that will give us the strong classifier capital fx okay now how to select that now here you can see an example so now you can consider we will uh, we have uh, said uh, we have a number of uh, faces and number of non faces okay so here you can consider the red uh, red mark circles are red mark circles are uh, faces and uh, blue mark circles are non faces okay now we will have a classifier so here we classifier one is applied on uh, on the distribution of the faces and non faces and whenever the weak classifier one is say here weak classifier one is corresponding to some hard feature okay now whenever that hard feature will be applied over the over the all regions of the faces then uh, we can have one weak classifier and whenever we class uh, whenever this uh, hard feature will be applied as weak classifier then some uh, some examples may be misclassified that means some examples will be found as misclassified that means in the area of faces some non faces will be found in the area of non faces some faces will be found so so those examples are the misclassified examples okay now uh, whenever we will get the misclassified examples uh, so if we see in the area of uh, faces if we have the non faces then we will increase the weight uh, for that non faces or for those faces uh, the, so whenever the whenever a face will be found in the area of non faces then that is the misclassified example and for that misclassified that for that misclassified example we will increase the weight in the next iteration okay so here you can see that for we classifier uh, one we have some misclassified example for faces as well as for the non faces in iteration 2 we in, before we execute the iteration 2 for we classifier 2 we increase the weight okay so after increasing the weight we apply the weak classifier 2 and whenever we apply the weak classifier 2 as as some hard feature then we will get another classification okay in this classification also we can have uh, some examples which will be found uh, as misclassified examples in both the areas both the areas means the area of faces area of non faces okay then uh, in the uh, then in the next iteration we will apply another uh, hard classifier or uh, hard features so whenever we will apply uh, that uh, weak classifier then we can have some examples to be found as misclassified examples okay now uh, every time so every time uh, we need to apply uh, we need to apply the hard features so when the uh, all hard features uh, will be applied so uh, from that hard features that means uh, every time when we apply the hard features we get uh, the error so we will compute the error rate uh, for 16 160000 hard features okay so that to be done in one iteration okay that to be done in one iteration so in one iteration we will find the we find the error rate and for the hard feature and for the and for a particular hard feature uh, if we find the error rate is error rate error error rate is minimum then minimum means minimum than the other error rates of the hard features then that hard feature will be considered as the best we uh, best quick classifier or the best hard feature and the corresponding classifier will be called the uh we classifier and that classifier will be added to the combination okay so for every iteration 
we will compute uh, we will compute the hard feature and for a particular hard feature among 160000 hard features if we see that the error rate is found to be minimum than compared to the uh, compared to the errors of the other hard features then that particular hard features will be added to the combination of the strong classifier okay that means that the corresponding weak classifier will be combined uh, uh, combined with other uh, other uh, other hard features or other weak classifiers in the combination of the uh, in the combination so that we can get the strong classifier so here you can see the equation here uh, H, uh, here we get the strong uh, strong classifier for a number of uh, number of uh, weak classifiers and uh, that to be compared with the threshold so here we get a threshold and uh, whenever uh, that means uh, whenever the combination is found to be and greater than the greater than equals to threshold then we uh, we give one for the strong classifier otherwise uh, we give uh, we assign zero for the strong classifier okay now here you can see the arrangements so adaboost find the single rectangle feature and threshold that best separates the positive and negative training examples in terms of weighted error so first you see the arrangements so here, uh, here FT, FT is the vector where we arrange 1,60,000 hard features. Okay. So here FT is the column vector. In that column vector, that column vector will contain 1,60,000 hard features. And for every hard feature, we will have a number of uh, face examples and number of non-face examples. That means if we if we consider there are ten thousand faces and non faces, out of which four thousands are faces and six thousands are non faces. So here you can see that the uh, blue uh, blue circles for the first hard features uh, are considered as the non faces and red circles are faces. Okay. Now for uh, first feature, first hard feature. We will compute. Uh, we, we will compute uh, the uh, classification error. Okay. So here yeah, threshold is applied. Threshold is applied at theta t. Uh, that means if we consider the uh, theta t as a threshold, uh, then uh, this threshold is applied. Uh, this uh, applied uh, on the classification. So when the first classification of the first uh, hard feature will be applied on the 10,000 examples of faces and non-faces, then we will see that some examples, some face examples are found in the non-face area and some examples of non-face uh, will be found in the face area. Okay, that means there will be some error. We have to compute the error. How to compute the error? So in the last, in the, in this slide, you can see that uh, here you have to compute the delta. So delta by delta, we can compute the error. So here we compute the error for uh, every hard feature. Uh, then we will compare which feature is giving the minimum error rate. Isn't, isn't it? So yes, we sir. will compare we will compare out of 1,60,000 features, which feature is giving minimum error rate over 10,000 uh, examples of faces and non-faces. So uh, for a particular uh, hard feature, we will get this minimum error rate. And whenever we will uh, get the minimum error rate, we will add up this, uh, add up this hard feature uh, to the combination okay now uh, this is the first iteration so after first iteration we will go for the second iteration in the before the uh, before the second iteration is ex executed we update the weight information that means for the misclassified examples we need to increase the weight for the for, for the correctly classified examples we need to decrease the weight so that we can concentrate more on the misclassified examples 
so that we can get the misclassified examples as the rightly classified examples in the next iteration after applying the hard features okay now if we uh, if we uh, if we find a distribution of faces and non faces uh, in the form of uh, gaussian uh, normal distribution then you can see here the faces uh, have a normal distribution and non faces will also have a normal distribution so and uh, uh, there will be an there will be an area uh, and this area will be called the overlapping area okay that means here the uh, in this overlapping area the faces and non faces are misclassified that means in this overlapping area the faces and non faces are misclassified and in this uh, in this overlapping area we can determine the threshold okay and based on the threshold we can classify the faces from non faces that means uh, during classification some faces will be found in the non face area some non face uh, examples will be found in the face area that means why we are talking about these faces and non faces together because whenever we uh, whenever we develop a uh, face detection model we need to train that face detection model with faces and non faces so that we can we can make the model understand that these are the faces these are the non faces because uh, whenever we develop a face detection model face detection model will act as a novice that means uh, that face detection uh, model does not know anything about the uh, face examples and non face examples we make understand the face mod face detection model uh, to get the idea about the faces and non faces that is that is why this training will be done okay so we need to train that model so that a classifier a classification model is prepared before go for the real classification of faces from non faces is that okay for you yes sir okay so here uh, we can uh, get the distribution of faces and non faces as a form of gaussian distribution and uh, this overlapping area uh, represent uh, represent the faces and non faces uh, and then this overlapping area represent the misclassified examples of faces and non faces and from this overlapping area we can uh, determine the threshold and this threshold is used to classify the faces from non faces that means every time uh, every time we apply 161 lakh 60000 uh, hard features uh, after updating the weight values for the misclassified examples and decrease the weight value for the correctly classified examples then compute the error after uh, getting the error for 1 lakh 60000 features we will see which uh, hard feature gives the minimum error and uh, for a particular hard feature when we get this minimum error we add this uh, we uh, we add this hard feature as a weak classifier to the combination and after having uh, the linear uh, linear uh, weighted combinations of all the weak classifier or all the hard features we get the strong classifier and this strong classifier will be uh, used for the classification of faces from non faces now here you can see the adaboost algorithm so to understand the adaboost algorithm uh, we need to have the we need to have some uh, examples so here examples are given in the form x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 up to xn comma y so here yi is uh, yi value of the yi is 0 or 1 0 means the negative examples negative means non face examples and one means the positive examples that means the face examples okay then in the second step we initialize the weights okay so here 1 by 2m comma 1 by 2l so here 1 by 2m means if we consider am at the negative exam am represent the negative examples and l represent the positive examples then initially all the weights will be same that means uniformly all the weights will be same for all 10000 examples 
okay so if we consider out of 10000 examples uh, m is a total number of 60 6000 negative examples and l is the total number of 4000 positive examples then the weight will be determined by 1 by 2m okay for negative examples and uh, for positive examples weight will be determined as 1 by 2l that means 2 into multiplied by 4000 and here 2 multiplied by 6000 6000 okay then in the third step uh, for t equals to 1 to capital t so here capital t is the total number of weak classifiers or total number of best hard features that are to be determined uh, during the classification okay and then we normalize the weights so we have already normalized the weights we have uh, we don't need to uh, we don't need to execute this step in some in sometimes we need to execute these steps but initially we uh, initially we assign the uh, weights uniformly to all the uh, positive and negative examples okay so therefore sometimes we don't need to execute these steps in step 3 in step 3 number 2 says that for each feature j train a classifier hj okay for each feature j means here j means j represent the hard feature okay now we train a classifier hj which is restricted to using a single feature the error is evaluated with respect to wi so here epsilon j will be equal to so this will give us the this will give us the error okay so here epsilon j is represent epsilon j represent the error and uh, in step 3 number 3 we choose the classifier hi with the lowest error that means uh, i i just said you that uh, out of 160000 uh, hard features the hard feature which will give you the lowest error that to be selected in the combination okay that to be selected in the linear combinations of weak classifiers then uh, in step 3 number 4 we will update the weight so when we will update the weight when we will get the misclassified examples for 160000 hard features during classification okay so we accordingly we will update the uh, weight for the misclassified examples that means for the misclassified examples we increase the weight for the correctly classified examples we decrease the weight so that we are doing this updation because we need to concentrate more on the misclassified examples so that we can correct the misclassified examples in the subsequent iterations okay then the final strong classifier is obtained uh, by this uh, by the last step that is h of x equals to uh, we can write 1 whenever the uh, linear combination where linear weighted combinations of weak classifier will be found to be greater than the threshold that means this threshold is obtained from the weighted some weighted summation of uh, for weighted summation of the weak classifiers okay so this is the threshold so whenever the weighted summation of weak classifier is found to be greater than equal to the threshold then we assign to the strong classifier otherwise we will assign zero to the strong classifier so what so was the value of x in the image where so the uh, in the algorithm first step the image is representing x i y i uh huh so what is the value of x x will be some x will have some value so here x represents some value no 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 here x like h h h represent positive and negative like yes, positive yes, and negative yes, zero yes, no yes, yes. what is the value of x x will be x here x represent some image here x may be x may be in face or non face face or non face okay sir matrix it may be matrix it may be vector the corresponding vector corresponding matrix of the images Okay, and so why why i is the classific why i is the why i represent the classification okay classification means why i represent the class information 
okay and xi represent the image information that means from that image we can have uh, either the matrix or vector okay so m dimensional vector or n dimensional vector so that to be represented by xi and y y i carries the class information that is it it may it will be either zero or one for negative or positive examples okay yes sir yes sir any other questions we will continue this discussion uh, in the next class and uh, in the next class uh, we will have another uh, phase detection algorithm so that phase detection algorithm uh, uh, is using uh, uh, recently that means uh, in the last 5 years uh, we have uh, another algorithm that is called yolo algorithm okay so the in uh, descent trend of phase detection algorithm is the yolo algorithm so we use yolo algorithm for all such object detection and phase detection also so after having discussion on the viola jones algorithm we will have another phase detection algorithm so that will be discussed in the next class so uh, we will continue the discussion in the next class and uh, then the, we will have another phase detection algorithm okay that's all for today if you have any questions you can ask me otherwise uh, we will end this session now any questions no no sir, no, sir. okay let's have end this session